Hey friends, I'm Monica Mangan, designer and host of The Weekender. In this video, we're taking a look back at a past Weekender project and deep diving a bit more to give you all the DIY intel and the inspiration to try it in your own home. Today we're talking about DIY string light planters. I love these. All right, this was such a fun project from the Tulum inspired patio episode of The Weekender. It's super easy and can really level up the ambiance of your outdoor space. We needed to stop in a few different departments at Lowe's to pull this project together. The garden center, of course, where we picked up our planters, potting soil, and flowers. Then headed over to the lighting department to get cafe lights and poles. The poles are in store during certain seasons and always available at Lowe's.com. There are tons of different types of cafe lights you can go with. LED, incandescent, various sizes and decorative shapes. You name it, they probably have it. Just keep in mind the length you need for your space. The beauty of this project is that it allows you an easy way to hang your string lights away from your house without needing to have a tree or something else tall and permanent to attach them to. For the planters, I needed to choose something that was deep enough to bury the pole and sturdy enough when filled with dirt that it wouldn't topple over in the wind. These tall rectangular planters did the trick perfectly. We filled our planters with potting soil, but if you live in a windy area and want extra weight, you could also fill the base of your planter a third of the way up with stones from Lowe's before adding your soil. I chose a general purpose potting soil because it was a good option for the flowers I was planting. Once we filled the planter, we set the poles. They're adjustable to three different heights and they've got a hook already on them to attach your lights to. Once the posts were in, it was time to figure out how we wanted to configure the lights. This is the best part because you can totally customize your layout. You can string them across horizontally or vertically. You could go diagonal or do a straight perimeter line, whatever you prefer. A couple things to keep in mind are how many feet of lights you have, how large your space is, and how many planters and poles you have. But play around with the layout and get creative. For this house, we added cup hooks right into the roof line to attach the lights. Each space is unique, so you might want to chat with a Lowe's Red Vest associate about the best way for you to secure your lights to your home, whether it's on the siding or the roof. They're super helpful and know all the products Lowe's has to offer. We used zip ties to secure the cafe lights to the hooks to make sure they'd stay in place, and adjusted the planters to get just the right spacing and tension for each strand. How great does that look? This project is perfect for almost any backyard space. Adding ambiance and functional lighting is something you will not regret. This is one of my favorite outdoor DIY projects. I hope you give it a try. And if you have any questions, just drop them in a comment below. If you haven't seen this full episode, what are you waiting for? Be sure to go watch it. It's such a good one. And before you go, hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss a single thing on the Lowe's YouTube channel.